YouTube cannot deal with elf girls turning into cat girls since my last video of a cat I love potion is now it's restricted. So guys, if you are over 18 or if your account is over 18, I hope you all are over 18, go watch that video because it's not getting a lot of traction. But without further ado guys, let's play again Ikari Love Potion. It seems like you finished, am I correct? Oh, 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 whoa, what happened to Iris? She's a cat girl, welcome. Iris blushes a bit upon seeing the reaction of the girls to her cat girl transformation. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is my true form. As I mentioned earlier, I'm from Tuna, a town inhabited mostly by cat girls. You're a cat girl and you come from a town called Tuna. Is that just a coincidence? I don't think so. Whoa, a town full of cat girls? A continent full of elves? The possibilities in this world are endless. Maybe in the future I might even have an adventure in Tuna, don't you think? Oh, maybe kinda love potion too? Huh? Let me guess. Most of the girls, they are usually bought by wealthy and powerful families used as slaves, or in the best case, as servants. Slaves are servants. I mean, what's the difference between one another, you know? In my case, Beatrice's family was the one that adopted me as a servant. I thought you were more like a slave. At least that was the main idea. As time went on, Beatrice started to change. She became evil, cruel, ruthless. And I went from being a simple servant to being her personal pleasure toy. <laughs> Tears begin to run down Iris' beautiful face as she tells us her story. Wipe her tears, let her continue. Yeah, wipe those tears off her face, girl. I approach Iris and start wiping her tears very carefully with my thumb. Why carefully? Just slap her face out of her tears. She looks at me with a cute smile. Despite everything she's been through, I know she's working hard. She worked very hard last episode. Go watch that. They decided to make me look like an elf so that I wouldn't attract too much attention here. But from what little that I know, when a girl of my race feels really uncomfortable with her master, we bring our true form to light. I lost control while I was with my lord in bed and... Don't tell that to them, come on! You gonna get murdered right now? I I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, Don't say that, Iris. No problem with that, you don't have to apologize at all. Also, you look so sexy with those little ears and cat's tail. So her transformation into elf also made uh, her tail disappear or she shoved her tail into somewhere else, you know? Yuta is right, you look pretty but you called him my lord? Yeah, that's Sophia's thing, not yours. Hey, that's right. Did you just call you to my lord? Starting from today, he will be my lord, messiah and savior too. Sophia and Agnes scowl at me. Don't look at me like that, girls. From now on, Iris will help us in our mission. She's part of our team. We've got to celebrate. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's right. I'll be eternally grateful that my lord has made me see the light, the true path. I will help you in everything you need, Master Yuta. Will it make more sense that you think that uh, you are my master because you're a cat? That's how cats sing, right? I'll be your elf or your cat girl. Whatever you need the most and whatever you want the most. Elf, cat girl. You stay as a cat girl. I already have two elves, don't worry. You're part of my collection now. I want you to stay in your original cat girl form, Iris. I won't deny that your elf form is also extremely sexy. But your little cat ears and tail make me go crazy. So maybe you probably should be better for her to turn back into a elf. Also, it's your original form. I think you're gonna feel more comfortable that way. <laughs> But it's not gonna be dangerous for her to walk around in her cat form because everyone will notice her now. Iris will keep her kitty form from now on. Yeah. Iris will be eternally grateful to be the slave of my master Yuta and not Beatrice's. You don't need to be my slave. But you can be. You are not my slave. You are free now. I always dreamed of having my own maid slave, exactly. Who never thought about, mm, ah, I woke up this morning. I wish I had a maid slave to rub my feet when I wake up every morning. Well, I can't deny it. I always dreamed of having my own maid slave. Finally, my dream has come true. Um, I'll be forever in your debt and I'll repay you the only way I can. The one you like the most. Whoa, this girl is so great. All right, my girls, you cannot make uh, you my favorite. I don't know that you're my favorite. Let's get some rest now. A long road awaits us. <laughs> 
Oh, the ready morning? All right, it's time for us to continue our adventure now. It could be dangerous if we continue to stay in this city for much longer. Plus, we don't have anything to do here anymore. We must advance and face our destiny. The city is already on alert, and we can't let anything bad happen to us at this point, being closer than ever to our girl. Go. I think the best road to get to Beatrice's castle is crossing Pleasure Valley. Uh, is that a place called Pleasure Valley? What is it? And where is it? Pleasure Valley? Sounds good. A Agnes is right. It should be the easiest and fastest way. If not the only one. Pleasure Valley surrounds the castle. I know that route pretty well during my travels from the castle to the city. As it happens, I have to meet Beatrice there later today, but... If we manage to cross the valley before she suspects my absence, I will make sure that we can infiltrate her fortress quickly and silently. That sounds like a plan, Iris. Are you ready? Let's go! Alright, let's go! A few hours later, arriving at Pleasure Valley. Wow, this place is more gloomy and deserted than I expected. Even during daytime, it gives me a bad vibe. So why is it called Pleasure Valley? Shouldn't it be happy and exciting? It has always been a quiet area, but you're right, my lord Yuta. After the war, nothing remained the same. There's something strange in the environment right now. I can feel something strange here, but I don't know what it could be. I know very well that the area near Beatrice this castle is protected by magic, but we are still several kilometers away from that. I cannot explain what is going on. I, I feel a little nervous. It's too early to be worried. Whatever happens, I will protect you. If you're not sure about this, you better leave now. I'm going to protect you all! <laughs> Whatever happens, I'll protect you at all costs! Oh, you're so nice, master! I feel like the most fortunate girl in the world when I am by your side! I trust you, my master! I will do anything to fulfill our goal, Yuta, my love! Um, sure, mate. I will do whatever it costs me to leave as well. Hey, did you just call him my love? Who gave you permission to call my lord that? Unbelievable, but Sophia and Agnes agree on something this time. Now they both uh, tagged him to wait on Iris, poor girl. Le le leave me! alone? I own my life to my master Yuta. The least I can do for him is to treat him with affection and respect. Oh, she's getting mad now. I want to see that side of Iris. Whoa, Iris is showing some temper here. This is gonna be a headache if I can control these girls. Calm down, girls. We have to be united if you want to have a chance to succeed. I'm pretty sure that when we're facing uh, Beatrice, they're all gonna be against each other and we're gonna lose. For sure that's gonna happen. The increasing powers of the love potion surprise me more and more each time I use them. Um, and speaking of which... Hey, Sophia! We don't have any remaining supplies of the love potion, right? Eh? L uh, love po potion? Oops, I forgot again. So much action makes me forget about these little t details. Ahem. <clears throat> Haven't you said anything to Iris about it? Well, I think that with so much hustle and bustle, I forgot. Same as always, my lord. I hope that's because you're thinking of me. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, sure, uh, Sophia. Um, how can I explain this? Iris will understand. She's a smart girl. So much action made me forget that tiny detail. Yeah, exactly. It's too much, girls. I cannot have uh, more of that. It makes me lose my mind and my memories. Um, well, what can I say? So much action has made me forget that tiny detail. The three girls blush when they hear my excuse. Uh-uh, um, well, action doesn't bother me at all, as long as it's with me. Yes, action is with you, I guess. It's more than clear that my youth is thinking of me. Excuse me, girls, but I was the last one to have some action with my master Yuta. Well, we can use this long walk to talk about it. You see, my dear Iris, as you know, we're gathering all the information and help possible to face Beatrice. And the only way to make the girls who are or were dominated by the blonde goddess come back to reason is, well, using a small potion to yeah that blonde goddess you know god damn it mate have you seen beatrice redirect those effects let's say um i see that explains how i could realize that you were my true master and savior and not her isn't that like a side effect of the potion to think that i am your master right that's it you're great iris see even you could understand it don't thank me take my uh <laughs> okay yes <laughs> take my uh chicken you know th th thank you very much master that's all right but don't thank me. Thank my chicken. Iris looks at me uncomfortably, but she smiles at me a moment later. It would not bother me at all to do it again, Master Yuta. I know you are a super smart and skilled man. 
when did it all happen? I do not remember drinking any potion. If you think a little bit, you're gonna know when you drank my, my potion, you know? My lord put a love nectar in your cup of tea. Hey, hey, Sophia, don't say it like that. You make me sound like a pervert. Ahem, <clears throat> and I'm not. Our mission is to defeat Beatrice so that no girl from this continent has to suffer what you have gone through. Each girl should have the freedom to make her own decisions and get through the horrible post-war situation that you are facing as best as you can. Oh, you are so noble, my master. My lord, you is the messiah of the old prophecy, the one who came to save us all. But he will marry me and only me because you're the princess, so yeah. Um, I wouldn't be so sure about that. My lord is only mine and so it will be forever. The prophecy! Well, but that's not all. <clears throat> the potion we call the love nectar. Well, it has some secondary effects. Yeah, exactly. As you calling me your master. What do you mean? What kind of effects? After drinking the potion, our deepest desires surge like a storm. And the only way to satisfy us is through playing poker with our messiah. Secondary effects. I really hate those secondary effects. Iris wants to look calm, but her face turns completely red. Don't be shy, Iris. Although I hope you have enjoyed your time with Yuta, because from now on, it will only be with me. Uh, I'd like to try that potion again. Do we have more potion? I don't think we do. Do you think the love nectar grows on trees? Well, that wouldn't be bad. And speaking of which, we don't have any potions left, right? Well, we used the ones we had that morning with Agnes and then Aris. But don't worry, everything is under control. She has a she has a love potion. Let's go. Sophia takes out two new little bottles of the Almighty Love Potion. It looks similar to the previous one, but with a darker color, closer to purple. Its texture looks thicker too. Ugh, are you gonna drink that? While you and Iris were having your moment of passion, while I was trying not to die of envy, I started working on this new formula. Yeah, to keep your mind away from our moment together. Our four seconds of moment. And I must admit that Agnes has helped me this time around too. That's right, I couldn't stand to hear Iris screaming and not being able to do anything with you. Eh? My, my screams? Whoa, you never stop surprising me, girls. I think we have a little problem. Huh? I only had time to make two samples, and even so, they are very experimental, so I can only use on the two of you? Let's go! Where am I gonna choose though? Although this time with Agnes, we decided to pour a unique and personal touch into the recipe. Huh? What did you put in the potion? Agnes' face turns completely red. Hey, are you going to tell him about... While Agnes and I listened to you having fun, we got a little uh, worked out, and... Well, we started to wrestle each other, and... What have you done, girls? Tell me right now. I want to go. Let's say we put a little of our own love nectar in the mix. 100% natural. But I'm not gonna be the one to drink that. You girls are. You know what you have done, right? That mix is definitely gonna taste good. Hope that doesn't mess it up. Hey, as long as it works. It's gonna taste divine, like uh, old wine. I envy the next girl who has to drink it. Besides, I prepared another surprise that I got in the city just in case of emergency. Could I know what that little surprise is? You'll have to wait for the right moment, my lord. But I'm sure you'll love it if you use it on me. Oh, you make such a good team. I'm happy to be your partner, master. Although I will not stay behind Sophia and Agnes just because I'm the newest member, I'll stick with my master Yuta when it's all over. A and I will marry him. I cannot marry with the three of you girls. You're gonna have to fight to death to uh, figure it out who's gonna marry me. Huh, I won't let that happen. Not gonna marry you if you're missing uh, like four members of your corpse. You can like miss two legs and one arm or whatever, but you only need one one uh, harm at least i'll be the one who protects him until the end shut up both of you in the end i'm gonna marry beatrice i saw him first girls girls please uh what happened um what's going on now M my lord i'm afraid is this no it, it cannot be in the blink of an eye the sky begins to darken even more it turns into a purple haze. the weather becomes heavy the sun is no longer visible in the valley then a person disturbing sounds can be heard around us they sound like suffering screams both <laughs> Oh no! Who's coming now? An evil but sensual female laugh can be heard in the distance, as if it were in our minds. W what's happening here? Do you hear it too? I yeah! Agnes and Sheets are sword and takes a defensive position. Hey, who's there? Show your face! <laughs> 
Okay, uh, keep laughing. You fall in my trap all by yourselves, poor and innocent creatures. You think you can deal with the great Beatrice? When listening again to that mysterious voice, Iris looks more worried than ever. Iris, what's wrong? Is this the presence of Beatrice? Is that a new elf girl? I'd be able to recognize her voice instantly. I thought the rumors were false, that they only exist as to scare people, but it seems that they are true after all. What are you talking about? I heard that the demonic creature protected this valley. I first heard of it when Beatrice talked about her, when she decided to confront her in the war and true defeat made her join her ranks. I've never seen her, I thought it was just a rumor, but m m maybe If it isn't little Iris, seems I'm so famous that you know me without having seen me once? Uh -huh. Um, this doesn't look good at all. Show your face, damn it! Are you another of Beatrice's slaves? If you're an elf, at least show me your bazoongas. Yes, I demand to see them. I see you're so eager to know me, little human. Um, well, if you're just as sexy as the three girls who accompany me, I don't see why I shouldn't be. She sounds like Samasu now. I thought you were gonna be a little smarter or more dangerous after hearing all those rumors of you. But seeing that you're just an inferior being who only thinks about uh, that type of things, I'll grant you your wish. In an instant, the dark purple mist appears in front of us. Girls, watch out! Am I gonna be kidnapped? Don't worry, my dear Yuta, I'll be with you no matter what happens. I won't let anything bad happen to you, Messiah. Be careful, master, this may be worse than we think. The fog disperses and a voluptuous female figure appears in front of our eyes. Oh, it's a succubus! Let's go! Whoa, 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 a succubus! Welcome to Pleasure Valley! Well, you had me at Pleasure Valley. That was literally the last thing that she said. And I regret to inform you that from today on, all of you will become my slaves. Let's go, I'm into it. Can I just chill on the sofa when I'm being your slave? Until the end of time. <laughs> Whoa, a succubus. It wouldn't bother me at all to be your slave, lady. You're a fool if you think you can stop me and my pee, -pee. You're such a fool. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only, Miss Reno. You're a fool if you think you can stop me and my pee, -pee. Huh? Well, there is no worse man than the one who is a cocky fool. I've already seen many like you during the war. Your arrogance will be your downfall. My name is Yuta. Let me tell you that. You look extremely sexy, lady. <laughs> okay, fine. But I won't allow you to stand in our way. I understand your happiness upon seeing me. Your lust-filled face is the same as all men who have fallen into my trap. All those inferior souls that I've dominated before, during and after the war. To serve my beloved goddess Beatrice. And for a little fun time, of course. <laughs> I love hearing your laugh so close to my ears. I see, now I understand everything. I see you're a little slow, Yuta. I, Reno, am the ultimate barrier that my mistress has around her castle. From the shadows, I've always taken care of this land so no one gets in her way. I've enjoyed every second. And you're no exception. Reno licks her lips while staring at me. Saying those horrible things after all the misery we've endured. All the lives and families ruined. So, Sophia. Calm down, Sophia. You won't achieve anything by getting angry now. She's under Beatrice's mind control too, probably. We can't blame her for now. I think she's like this in real life. Stay put, Sophia. We're gonna win this battle no matter what. I promise you. Let's go! Also, Reno looks too sexy to miss an opportunity for a good round of action to make her join us. Mind control? I thought so, she's a succubus though. None of that, I live to serve my almighty mistress Beatrice, nothing more. There's no mind control involved. That's exactly what Agnes and Iris said before. There's no doubt about it. Hum, you say that now, but wait until you taste the love potion. Uh huh. Some McDonald's water. What the hell are you talking about? It's more than clear that we're facing our greatest adversary so far. Reno is a supernatural creature, and who knows what powers she may have under her sleeve. I'm not saying I wouldn't like to find out, but she seems pretty smug and confident. Maybe I can make her drink the potion if I challenge her. I don't know if it will have any effect on her, and we still have a very limited supply of two little bottles, but there's no other way. Would you like to taste it? You're Beatrice's bitch and you don't know about this potion? If you drink it, I assure you, you'll fall in love. 
love with me? Your bitch is his main garden and you don't know about this potion? Please, you make me laugh. Rino looks angry at me. Oh, I'm so afraid of you, Succubus. And I'll do anything for my mistress Beatrice. Do you really think you can defeat me with that shitty bottle? Besides, Love Potion. What a ridiculous name. Don't say that! I also call it Love Nectar! And also is the name of this game. I don't know which is worse. I can see that not only are you an idiot, Yuta, but your companions are on the same level. Don't you dare talk to us like that! Don't mess with Master Yuta! Rin observes Agnes and Iris defiantly. Wait a moment, your stupid faces look familiar. Are you Agnes? That so-called elite knight who guards that mediocre city that my lovely Beatrice dominates? What are you doing here? Go back and do your lousy job. And your little Iris, of course. That small and useless slave that my great goddess only uses as a toy? And what if we are? Shut up once and for all before I kill you! You? Kill me? We are in trouble, dude. I always knew you were mere weaklings. You don't deserve to be part of Beatrice's elite personal. But besides that, you will join a simple human man to try to stop her? I feel sorry, very sorry for our poor souls. My three companions observe Reno with fury in their eyes. Calm down, girls. I'll take care of her. Hey, Reno, you don't call me simple human if you saw my crotch. You can't be that strong if you need Beatrice to succeed. What's wrong? Are you jealous? So, Kappas, unfortunately, we're gonna stay here. Let's make uh, Reno drink a love potion next episode. If you don't wanna miss that, don't forget to press, uh, I mean, I mean, spank, spank, and punch that like button only, only once uh, or twice. Like, or, or press once. The second time uh, you remove, uh, you know, the second time doesn't work, then you press again and then you just keep smashing the like button until you smash it really uh, well until it disappears from the page, I don't know. Uh, subscribe as well to not, uh, you well, miss the next episode, I guess. And guys, if you find a second button in the middle of the street or in a place called Pleasure Valley, I don't know, just run away really fast because, I mean, unless you have like uh, some uh, spare love potions, just don't try to do nothing against the sucker boss, you know, it's, they're very, they're just literally demons, okay? So good, 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 guys, and of course. Uh, bye.